Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Education Matters, our favorite segment. We are here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Douglas. How are you? I'm well, thank you, Colette. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. And, you know, I was just thinking about this topic the other day, so I am so glad we're talking about this. Friends, listen to this. It is never too early to start thinking about summer. And with spring starting this weekend, the topic this morning, right on time, we're talking about summer camps for kids in Michigan. I love it. So, Dr. Douglas, for the past two summers, students really haven't been able to enjoy camp like they used to. So how can camp be a beneficial opportunity for kids? Yeah, you're right, Colette. The last couple summers, especially two summers ago, but even yeah. last summer, a lot of camps uh, remained virtual or were reduced in, in size. So this summer, hopefully, is going to be closer to what it was pre-pandemic. And there's some terrific benefits to summer camp. Uh, it's a long list. I'll just yes. highlight a couple, and that's the uh, opportunity for increased responsibility yes. and uh, being away from home, perhaps, either during the day or overnight or for a short period of time, helps uh, provide that opportunity for independence. Yes. And it's a, a great coming of age opportunity for youngsters. Many great opportunities in our Great Lakes state of Michigan, uh, locally and in our region. Yeah, you know, Dr. Douglas, I love camps because it's really a time for kids to explore the things that they love, their interests. My daughter loved cooking, so I put her in a summer camp for cooking. And then with sports, all the sports, they, do, they can also improve their skills that way. I love it. In Michigan, like you were saying, Dr. Douglas, tell us about some of the camps that are in our area right now and how parents can find out about these camps. Sure. I'll highlight a couple really close by. Yeah. One is in St. Charles operated by the Saginaw Intermediate School District. It's the Hartley Nature Camp. Oh. I'm on the Hartley Foundation Board, so I've gotten to learn a lot about the camp yes. uh, through my board experience. This is a year-round opportunity for kids hmm. associated with their schools. The schools are a great place to get more information about Hartley, but they also have weekend and summer hmm. opportunities as well. It's 300 acres. It's very pristine. It's a great way to connect with nature and what we call project-based learning, where kids have an opportunity to explore on-site different science lessons mm. and get back to nature yeah. through the, the real foot-on-the-ground experience. Another camp nearby in West Branch, operated by the YMCA of Saginaw, is Camp Timbers. Again, about 300 acres. It's rustic. It really operates full-blown in the summer with many one- and two-week experiences. Fred Herter, for example, operates a music camp that goes there at Camp mm. Timbers. Uh, it can house as many as 180 campers. Nice. And both Hartley and Camp Timbers have great websites I would direct uh, listeners to. Um, options out of our region are plentiful, too. And I, I stumbled across a website called Summer Camp HUD hub rather okay. summercamphub.com and they boast of some of the best michigan summer camps and i picked a couple to highlight as examples if you'd like me to sure one is up by traverse city okay it's called camp carvella it's actually in frankfurt okay. and it's focused on experiential learning kind of similar to what hartley offers here in our region and uh, they offer core values that include collaboration and get this Colette yes. unplugged connections so I'm yes. going to guess probably the connectivity up there for the internet may be a little spotty <laughs> uh, they want that back to nature experience for youngsters it. which I think is really cool another one I'm familiar with because I, I spent seven years in Big Rapids public schools and many of our kids mm. went to Blue Lakes Fine Arts Camp Wow! and that's a great camp a huge camp yes. 1600 acres and it's in the Manistee Forest. I don't know if you've ever been on wow. that west side of the state, yes. but it is really rustic. Mm -hmm. um, they're actually located on uh, Twin Lake, Twin Lakes, that is. Um, and it's an experience in fine arts. And they highlight music, dance, art, and drama. Uh, that website is full of information. So you said it in the intro. Mm -hmm. Now is a great time yes. to take a look at what summer could bring as far as possibilities for youngsters of all ages. 
I love it that it's, you know, it's helping them put those cell phones down, the video games down, and get outside and enjoy nature. We have so much to explore and, and just to, to love here in Michigan. Tell us, Dr. Douglas, why is it important and what are some of the benefits for kids to really get outside of mid-Michigan and go to other parts of Michigan to enjoy? Well, it's a chance to rub elbows with kids from other regions. Yes. Um, Hypothetically, where else could a kid, say, from the city mm -hmm. get a chance to talk with a kid who lives on a farm yes. or maybe comes from a smaller community? So those exchanges, both formally and informally, are great opportunities for growth where eyes are open and realms are, are explored in mm -hmm. terms of possibilities. And I think relationships can be forged that are sustained beyond the camp experience where perhaps uh, lifelong friendships can, can evolve. So these experiences, Colette, yes. are really priceless. I know there's a cost to camps, and many times there are ways to defray some of those costs, but I would wager that the benefits outweigh the costs. Yeah, that's so true, Dr. Douglas. And I think that, you know, I love camps because it keeps the kids out of that summer slump. They can engage their minds and have fun while they're doing it. Anything else that you'd like to tell parents if they're contemplating thinking about putting their kids in summer camp? Well, you touched upon uh, the, the idea of the summer slump, yeah. and I, I want to reinforce that. By, by having a camp experience and this idea of hands-on, yes. project-based or experiential learning experiences, it's a way to take a theoretical concept that mm. perhaps was learned in school and see it actually applied yes. in nature's setting. And that's a great way for the information to be understood more deeply and retained longer. It's priceless. It engages the total, the mind, the body, and, and, and really the soul of our kids. Thank you, Dr. Douglas, for this information. We appreciate you. We really do. Thank you so much for calling in again today. Delighted to. Take care and be well. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. You as well. For more information about today's topic, check out the Lifestyle page. That's at WNEM.